What's up, y'all? This is Rom coming back at you with yet another couch video. Ah, man. The woman rejecting the nuclear physicist viral clip illustrates my talking points. Illustrates it. Now, y'all know me. I usually don't comment on anything like just going on in the pop culture or viral stuff. Seriously, people hit me up. Some viral for anything come out. Hey, Ron, what you got to say about it? Nothing. Nothing. It's just not me. I don't follow the crowd. If the crowd run in that direction, I'm walking the other direction. That's just how I've been since I was little. It's, it's why I have a level of success and I haven't got in major trouble. That being said, I said, you know what? I'll say something about this clip. And a link for it is in the description box, but yeah, everybody's pretty much seen it. Um, but I say I say something about it because it illustrates something I've always said. I've always said the looks, or even money, status, how you look. I even said that with body game. That's the bait. You still got to have a personality, personality to close it. And with that clip, a lot of a lot of people trying to jump on the young lady and say, "Oh, she ain't all that. Oh, she don't she don't want a real man or something like that. No, she just didn't want him. She just wasn't feeling him. That's all to it. Because like it or not, you still got to click with each other personality wise. Seriously, you still got to click, and women still want that man's personality. Seriously, that's just how it is. Now, if you look good and you got the height, the body, that get him over there. But what do I say women always say? Always say. He was all right till he opened his mouth. And really, person, uh, relationships come down to a clicking personality anyway. I've been saying that. I've been saying that. That's why you see some couples together and sometimes you're looking at them like, well, what they wish she seeing him. She like him. They click. Even some men, they might be with a woman and she don't look like... You know, he might be some, like, handsome guy, real handsome guy. She average looking. And it's like, they probably click. That's all to it. See, I, you know, for some reason, a lot of people don't want to look at that part of it. They're looking at all the superficial shit. And that's cool. Like I said, that's cool for a bait. But then what y'all going to do? It's like two people. And I've said, I've been saying this. I've been saying this because I've known this for years. How often, and seriously, anybody with any ex actual dating experience could tell you how, how, like for the fellas listening, how often have y'all gone on a date? And the woman was fine. I mean, she was like, pow, like everything and everything. But it'd be boring as shit. It'd be boring as shit. It'd be boring to the point you don't even want the sex. Well, some guys who usually get a lot of sex are still try to get it. But seriously, how often? Man, I've been out with some gorgeous ass women. Some gorgeous ass women. I remember when me and my co-parent, we were still we were still married. We were doing this uh, uh vending at this fashion show. And this this tall sister would I mean she was beautiful. Her butt was perfectly round, her hips, body was killing. And my co-parent was like, I said, yeah, we went out, but nothing happened. And my co-parent was like, You didn't hit that? It's <laughs> like, no. Because she was just bored. It was like, you ever be out with a woman sometime and you just, like for the fellas who actually been out with an attractive woman, been on a road date, you ever been out with that woman and you just like, damn, I can't wait to get her home. You you just be rushing and stuff. You just be like, man, you just didn't click. Now, a lot of guys might not understand it because they still fighting for the date. But that's just some real talk. So if a man can be that way and men are that way, Women can definitely do the same thing. Women on women are actually more into it. Because there's many a times. In fact, that's why all those handsome man videos I did became real popular. Guys were saying they've been called handsome but having trouble with the women. They just didn't click with your personality. That's it. I mean, and you know, some people try to say, oh, she don't want a real man or something. Nah, she just don't want him. She just wasn't feeling them. That's all to it. At least she was honest about it. Some gold digger or some woman game player would have said, oh, he all that. Mm, let me see what I can use him for. And stuff. And, you know, and then you got some guys, they think, oh, it's just looks. It's just looks. And I've seen some commentary saying, well, he look good. Okay. 
Even if she thought he looked good, she still needed to click with him. And quite frankly, we don't know how she really thought about his looks. Because I was always say, ain't nothing objective or universal. So we don't know. We don't know what she really wanted. In fact, uh, in fact, you see that a uh, you see that a lot. You we really don't know. Look, if somebody reject you, if a woman reject you, she just reject you. Y'all don't click. That's all to it. Why worry about it? There's an abundance of women. You just keep it moving. You know, don't get mad or anything, or don't think. And oh, let me let me let me go even deeper, because a lot of people were like, "Well, he's a nuclear physicist. That don't mean he can make a holler." Seriously, that that old bag. Like I always say, I've said it a thousand times. Women looking for sex. They looking for that good good. He probably he simply didn't turn her on. In fact, checking out that uh, show. Now I forgot that uh, sister's name. We got a Melly something. And stuff. I seen I I seen some clips of her around, but that pineapple show is interesting. Just real quick, I can never go on that show because I'm like, I'm the man. They need to be coming on my show. In fact, let me just say this real quick. If a man did a show like that where you get a man on there and has some signal like pineapple or something like that, or uh, let me use another word I would use avocado like the woman come on there and she gotta win him over and he'll just say avocado avocado you don't know how much hell would be raised seriously let's just be real with that and i ain't you know i don't jump on women for anything but i'm gonna call that shit out like that's all funny shit but you know if a man do that he'd be called misogynistic you have whole panels and shit going in on and everything and some panda bears like going in with them. Yeah, they shouldn't reject those beautiful women and shit. Please. Um, sorry to, uh, no, sorry, not sorry. Not sorry, I shouldn't even say that word. Figure of speech. Uh, men who got this shit together do reject women on the regular, okay? So, that was just, I just had to put that out there. But getting back to that thing. You still got, if a man, as a man, that's just what it come down to. You can't lose sleep, you know. Oh, yeah, you got a business, but how that making her wet? How that making her wet? Seriously. And they don't need, I, I seen some commentaries talking about she want a thug or something. You don't know if she want a thug. She just wants somebody she click with. That's it. Like for the fellas out there who their main part of their game is the mouthpiece, that's what they do. They just clicking with it in their conversation and stuff. And even though I'm known for promoting body gang, you still got to have a decent conversation. Now, you know, shout out Alan Roger Curry if you want to take it to another level. But you still got to have, you still got to have it. You really got to have a, uh, you still, honestly, you still got to be hitting on as many cylinders as possible and you can still get rejected. But thing is, you don't take it, you don't know what she's looking for. You seriously, and guys got to get off of that, man. Rejection, I'll put it like this rejection is God's protection and stuff. I'd rather a woman just reject me straight away. I'll be like, hey, thank you. You have a good day. Don't waste my time. But seriously, but my main thing is you still got to develop, you still got to, you still got to have that click, you still got to have that personality. Like you got some dumbasses out here who think, well, the looks or the personality. No, they ain't. No, they ain't. In 57 years of life, my look and body and build has changed. My personality was the same. You know? Personality ain't changed. Yet. And I got women under the as big as hell, small as hell. But if the thing, just common denominator was always a personality. You still got to develop that. In fact, I just recorded, y'all know how I record videos. I recorded a video uh, for next week that's going to touch on that. You still got you still got to have it up here. You still got to talk. In fact, I was about to say uh, earlier when I got into that thing about dating some very beautiful women didn't click. It happens. It, let's let's reiterate that. You can just okay. You like how each other look. Fine. You still got to click on the date. In fact, what do I say? People talk looks, money, and status. You know, LMS. I always talk PCM, physique, charisma, masculinity. 
And you got the charisma part, you got to have that connection. You know? Because he's like, uh, how often how often has a man actually been on a date and it looked good, but y'all just didn't talk about shit? Or y'all get in, y'all find out y'all don't, don't, don't have nothing in common. Nothing to talk about. Y'all sitting there just eating the food. In fact, shit, she might, somebody, she might send a text while you not looking at somebody, call her up, like to text her and say, oh, wow, look, you know what? I got to get out of here. Hell, men have done that to some women. <laughs> It is what it is. You know? I mean, it's an interesting clip and everything. Probably blew that young lady up who hosts that show. And I do mean it when I say if a man did a similar thing, they'd be raising some hell. They'd be raising some hell. And on that, let's just be real with it. But we'll, we'll address that whole double standard thing later. We'll do that another time. Because uh, fair exchange is no robbery. And stuff. Now I know I'll probably help create somebody's channel or something. <laughs> but to the my main point though, I mean, it is what it is, yo. You know? Nobody's supposed to like you just because you got a degree or all of that. You know, it play a part. Nobody's supposed to. You now somebody else, like with that same young man, some other woman, she she probably seen that clip and getting wet like a champ. That's cause she into like men who are intellectual on that level. Cause that's you know ultimately when it comes down to relationships, period, it's about finding who you click with, who you really click with. Like I was talking with a lady friend last night, and the thing is, we can go months without saying anything, and then talk like we just talked the day before. That's because we click is on so many levels, and the ladies I get along with best, we click on those levels. The ones I don't, we just don't click. You don't worry about the ones you don't click with or they ain't feeling you or they don't find you attractive. Somebody is or not. Like, I remember it was uh, on that website, Lipstick Alley. I saw a thread talking about me. They were talking about my looks. And then, yeah, some women like, ugh. And then some other women like, nah, he fine. Now, if I meet them all in public, I deal with the ones who thought I was fine and leave them, don't even worry about the rest. I'll be like, if they try to say something, I'll be like, why are you talking to me? I accept you don't want me. Because you know, I'm looking at you. I ain't feeling you either. So fair exchange is no robbery. So anyway, though, um, I want y'all to think about that, though, for real. I want y'all to seriously think about that. I mean, it still come down. I don't care. Yes, you want to fix up. You want to fix up. You want to hit the gym. You want the barber to bless you. Uh, you got to shave and all that stuff. Spiritual reasons again. And stuff, cause I'm about to move out of here. Y'all ain't gonna see this background too much longer. Y'all see me on the couch. Y'all gonna see a lot of space. I put it like that. <laughs> so anyway, though, um, that's all I got for today. But that's that's my thoughts on it all. I mean, it is what it is. It proves my point. It proves my point in a big ass way. All right. So anyway, I get back to y'all. Peace and blessings.